Item Number SCP-721-EX Object Class Keta Update Explained Special Containment Procedures Archived As the effects of SCP-721-EX only manifest in the presence of Agent O'Hare every Valentine's Day, she is to be isolated within a secure location at least 100 kilometers from Site-19 that is randomized each year. This location is not to be disclosed to any Site-19 staff without exception. If an individual is afflicted by SCP-721-EX for more than 24 hours, they are to be given Class A amnestics and kept under surveillance during the holiday. Description Archived SCP-721-EX it's a virulent mimetic hazard that causes any exposed Foundation personnel to believe that Agent Jacqueline O'Hare of MTF Lambda 5, White Rabbits, is objectively their chosen Valentine every February 14th to a degree of manic insistence despite their affiliation and relations or lack thereof to Agent O'Hare, regardless of romantic or platonic connections to others. Effects of SCP-721-EX include, but not limited to, an overwhelming desire to procure Valentine's Day gifts and love letters for Agent O'Hare, addressed to my jackrabbit, my bunny, or otherwise. Mobs of staff swarming her with confessions of romantic or platonic love, desperately asking for dates and physical intimacy as well as, in one case, a physical altercation over who would grab her a cup of coffee that resulted in a small-scale riot within Site-19's cafeteria. After the holiday, 90% of the afflicted individuals recover within 24 hours, with any attachments to Agent O'Hare returning to their previous state. Of the 10% who would remain afflicted for longer periods, the attraction would remain consistent to that of the mimetic effect, and were susceptible to having a more intense experience with each year left untreated. Addendum 721EX1 Discovery In an originally instant effort to boost staff morale, Alexandra was modified on the 14th of February 2022 with a minor program allowing Foundation personnel to be amusingly assigned another staff member as a valentine for the holiday. Her program utilized the recurrent neural network analyzing non-classified documents and communications to find recurrent connections between staff meant to connect them based on status, relations, similarities, and personality. Despite thousands being employed at Site-19, approximately 89% of personnel were simultaneously assigned each and O'Hare as their valentine. While the results of the program were to be taken in jest, an unknown secondary effect occurred in which many of those affected truly believed each and O'Hare was actually their romantic partner and acted as such. It is believed that neither Agent O'Hare or the program caused SCP-721-EX's effects, as O'Hare claimed to have no knowledge of how many people were assigned to her, and the personnel she had been assigned to was never disclosed to the public. During SCP-721-EX's manifestation, Agent O'Hare was incredibly flustered over the mass amount of affection she was receiving, she stated it was extremely difficult for her to traverse the site or to be left alone, going so far as to having to barricade herself in her office to avoid countless love confessions. Due to this, she was unable to respond to MTF Lambda 5 to a containment breach that resulted in five casualties. As security staff and the remaining 11% of the personnel who were unaffected were unsuccessful regaining control of the facility, Agent O'Hare was isolated, the program was removed, and Class A amnestics were disseminated through the air fence in an attempt to de-escalate the rapidly out-of-control situation. Addendum 721EX2 Updated Object Class Two internal surveys of Site-19 staff were conducted by the Human Resources Department on the 2nd of January 2025, 
and the 14th of February, 2025, in order to find a cause for SCP-721-EX's effects, Agent O'Hill was isolated during the latter survey in an undisclosed location. The results of the survey concluded that SCP-721-EX is surprisingly non-existent. Instead, Agent O'Hill simply maintains a high level of popularity among staff, especially from Foundation propaganda posted around Site-19. Due to this popularity, Agent O'Hill is a common conversation topic among Foundation staff communications, explaining the program's results. These results were consistent among both surveys, concluding that her popularity does not change with the holiday, and that most staff members believe they have an opportunity with Agent O'Hare on Valentine's Day. It was discovered that the first incident had occurred due to the secretary cause of vodka infused chocolate that were given to the majority of staff as a gift for the holiday. This unintentionally caused several personnel to be become intoxicated and behave more recklessly. To prevent further disruptions to site security and efficacy, annual mandatory and time of seminars and training are to be held for all Foundation staff the day before Valentine's Day. Psychological evaluations are to be given one month prior to assess present now its behavior and likelihood in pursuing romantic relations with Agent O'Hare. All Valentine's Day's gifts given to staff by the Foundation are to be non-alcoholic. Foundation staff are to be reminded that Agent O'Hare most likely has no interest in them in particular, unless otherwise stated.